here with Princess, and I might like my Brit to do some, some translating for me, because this is important. That's super rosy if you keep working. I had this idea. We've, got, we've also got, we're meant to finish at 10 o'clock tonight. We also have a horse that won't load into the horse box or trailer unless you sedate him, and then it takes an hour for people to lift him in. We're not going to do that. We're going to train him. But I had this idea that I'd do him first and then to say to people, if you're tired now, you're allowed to go home. <laughs> but anyone that wants to stop, then we work on Princess because she's quite a long job, I think. But um, Ian rightly said there'll be people trapped in the car park. So we've got to do it this way around, and I've got to limit myself to 30 minutes with Princess. I always think it's best to be honest, so I want you to know the situation. She is one of the, she has really surprised me. She is one of the trickiest little horses I have ever dealt with. I have, I've never had such a problem about getting a roller across her. But I'm very lucky. Do you think I'm going, am I not going too fast, am I, my Brit? Are people, are, are people understanding? Are you yep. okay? Good, thank you. I'm very lucky that I work with my friends. I, 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 love, I love coming out with friends. I've got my Brit here, and I've talked to people when we're signing the books, and I've got Rosie and Ian, and I'm going, what do you think? Um, we've, I think we've got about five ideas. It's not that we have to get the roller on her tonight, but I'd like to feel that we're making some progress. And what I feel is, is if I put anything over her, she runs at me. So it's quite, you know, it's not a good thing. It's not really good for her if she knocks me over either. So <laughs> that's my excuse. So I've got to think of a way to, to get a, a good enough rapport. I'd love to be able to get something over her back. So, one of my ideas is, is that we have a neck strap here, and if I could just loop that over her head, at least then I can be working from both sides, if you see what I mean. So that was, that was my idea. And then Ian, also my horse that runs around, he talked about putting a saddle cloth on her, and he said she's probably going to go crazy and it'll fall off. But if we do that a few times, gradually she'll get used to it, and that would be okay. What was your idea, Rosie? Uh, going under something. Rosie had this idea of making something that we led her under because she's frightened of things up here. So that was a good idea. Then we had another idea, but the yeah, she seems to be. Just explain what you mean by that, Rosie. So if I'm holding her. She doesn't like things in this blind spot behind, between one eye and the other. So that's the same blind spot if I'm even at quite a distance from her. If, you're, if I'm holding... I don't think she's going to want me. Look at that. I see. I see. From quite a distance on that blind spot. Yeah, this, you see, this is where it's wonderful having people outside the pen because I, I'm too close and I wasn't noticing it that well. Just do that again so the audience can see again. So how she's very frightened. She, can you see that? She's not going to let Rosie. And then she turns to see her on the other side. So she's, 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 <laughs> she's, so she's very worried about that blind spot because this is one of the things, is trying to work out what exactly the problem is. And now she's, she's really shaking, and she was pretty good when she was just first came in, but now because Rosie's been round there, it's really worried her again. And, yeah? She hasn't had a lot of rest over the 15 minutes. She's, the, the box makes a bit of noise because other horses are moved, and she was more scared than when she was put away, just so you know. So oh, right. She's had quite a worrying 15 minutes for her. Okay, so she was, quite, she was a little bit nervous out there as well. It wasn't very restful for her. Rosie was saying, so she hasn't really had the chance, as we hope, to relax um, as much. But I'm going to go with the neck strap, first of all, idea. I think that's a good idea. And we've, what we've got to do is we've got to put the horse first. And what we've also got to do, I've got to do, it's a royal we, is not let my ego get in the way of, oh, I've got to... You know, I mustn't even make you too important, I'm afraid. <laughs> you know, that, that we've got to put the horse first and see 
what we can learn about the horse. And the other thing about the ego is the owner says that she's, though she doesn't like, she hates the owner's boyfriend, or, or husband, I'm sorry, but um, the owner says that she's, she's good with her. Actually, Rosie, do you mind holding her a minute? So I've got the two hands free. Um, so it might be that we say to the owner, could she, could she, she do something? But I'm not quite sure where the owner is now. But on the other hand, you did bring her three hours for me to work with. So maybe, um, you know, you weren't that confident. But let me see. Let me see. Ah. Oh. <laughs> but we got, that's interesting that we got the dually on okay. It was a little tricky. It was a little tricky, yeah. Okay. So, because this seemed, it's very tempting to kind of sort of, throw something on her, because I think once it's on, she'll be okay. But it's the anticipation that is her biggest fear. So, that's good. And when I, when I get this um, neck strap on, if it's the appropriate thing to do, Rosie and I need to stick close together, otherwise one of us will get knocked over. And I also want to say, if anyone here in, in the audience has a good idea, I'm not saying we'll do it, but we'll listen to you. So just put your hand up. Is there somebody there putting their hand up? No, they're looking. Someone's on. suggesting ah. blinkers. Oh, blinkers. Oh, they're well done. I thought, why did that lady do that? We have got proper ones. The lady went like this. <laughs> it's just how we get them on. <laughs> With difficulty. <laughs> <laughs> they, they told me now, but you see, I didn't touch her at all. But I would say they've done a very good job getting the halter on. That's it. But I think I'll be able to get, what, what I'm aiming to do is get this just round her neck, so then at least we've got something totally round her neck on both sides, which I think is going to help our quest in getting her more manageable on both sides. So I'll just come back in here again, um, and I'm going to think how I'm going to do this. So I'm going to stand there. Um, that's it. And I'm going to... I'm going to be here. When you work with somebody else, it, you, you've got to work with the right other person, as it were. That's it, don't worry. Because um, you, you've got to kind of look after each other. So there we go. So there we go. So I'm going to see. That's it. And now I know that she's going to run towards me, which is the trickiest, the tricky part.